the father of the space age and Nazi scientist, Dr. Werner von Braun, headed up the Nazi V2 rocket program of World War II, famously saying how his rockets worked perfectly except for landing on the wrong planet. This thinly veiled comment alluding to his knowledge of the stars and secret space programs. On his deathbed he gave a shocking outline of a plan that could possibly be about to be enacted by the current US administration. Welcome to IF, videos on mystery and history. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to never miss a video again. Von Braun was smuggled into America as part of the operation known as Paperclip in the closing days of the war. The US government considers his knowledge and expertise too important to fall into the enemy hands and kept it secret from many of its allied countries. Von Braun and the many fellow Nazi scientists he brought with him possessed a wealth of information. Von Braun is said to have taken part in research that was to provide Hitler with anti-gravity propulsion vehicles, most famous of these craft being the de Glock or Nazi flying bell. A man with his experience took to the NASA secret programs like a duck to water. In the latter years of his life it seems Von Braun apparently was privy to the big picture, seeing the true goals of America's space program and how the military industrial complex was manipulating it according to a secret hidden agenda. Dr. Carol Rosin, a former leading aerospace executive and space and missile defense consultant befriended the rocket scientist late in his life. She has testified before Congress that on his deathbed in 1977 Werner warned that once the secretive cabal had played all their methods of control and manipulation, their standard practice being fear or threat cards, these powers that be would play their trump card, the alien invasion of our planet. A plan was in place to build a space based weapon system, these to fight against the aliens. Braun pointed out that fossil fuels had been obsolete for decades and that humanity had the capabilities to easily convert to long suppressed free energy technologies. Those that had a financial interest in the oil economy wielded too much power and would never let this happen. It would seem Von Braun had been trying to give humanity a heads up on the new Star Wars program, maybe in an effort to find some peace or forgiveness for the programs he took part in during the war. We will never know but why is this warning even more important today? I think we are seeing his predictions coming to pass. I think it's no secret to the world that the US is divided and as the leading power of the world other nations see it wounded. And like in any jungle the vulture, hyenas and wild dogs begin to circle the dying beast. Is this sixth branch of the US military a way to stay off circling competitors to the world crown of reigning superpower. Trump said when it comes to defending America it is not enough to merely have an, an American presence in space, we must have American dominance in space. The US has long had running military activity in space. This dates back to the beginning of the space age. The Corona reconnaissance satellite launched in 1959. In the 1960s there were the military astronauts who first participated in the dinosaur program and then the manned orbiting laboratory of MOL. The space shuttle flew military missions in the 1980s and early 1990s and the past few decades have seen numerous space military programs, reconnaissance satellites, defense advanced research projects and activities by the National Reconnaissance Office. And who can forget the Boeing X-37? It would seem things are moving the way Werner von Braun said they would. So what could be coming next? Well logic would dictate the next part of the plan would be the revealing of extraterrestrial beings. 
These ETs would be painted in a negative light, a global threat for which the US would have the answer. Countries of the world, it's time to pay up, back down and follow the president as he saves the earth from an interplanetary threat. This all one big charade according to the deathbed statement we opened with. So what do you think is going to happen? Will we see a false flag operation by the Trump administration? Maybe the real aliens will intervene and sabotage this fraud. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoy what we do here on the channel please hit that subscribe button, like and share. You can find us across social media by searching We Are If. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.